Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tenez to Human, and welcome back to our bad North Pike only campaign. You join me on the final stretch here. We can see our uh, last stand at Stalberg over there in the distance. So it looks like it might be on the shorter side of an episode today. We'll do that as a as a separate finale, but it will come straight after this episode. The day after, I think, will be the release time for that. Now we have ourselves several honours to get through. Um, having had a little look at where we are in terms of the numbers, we're on 38 right now. So we've actually got a decent amount of turns before we get there. 38 to 46 gives us about eight or so. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, we should be able to get ourselves across to the end and yeah, basically get as many upgrades as we can. Just to remind you where we are, we have four elite um, elite units at the moment, elite pikemen. We obviously have a few others in the background. We have um, the holy grails if we need them. I am reserving those for these four. There's no need to recover any of the fallen. Um, that's only really useful to get some extra money in. We don't need to worry about that right now. So Bran, Elwyn, Patton and Henwes are of course our four. They have themselves elite level. The only thing that's changed from last time, we've given Patton a full upgrade to his lovely, lovely Warhammer, which is incredibly helpful for just clearing one particular area out straight back into the sea. So I found that very useful. I've got that fully upgraded. I thought that would be ideal for us. Um, the rest of the money from now on, I'm not overly worried about getting these pike charges up to uh, the next level, but I will go and do that, but it's not my immediate concern. I want to get the bomb sorted and I want to get this warhorn sorted as well because getting extra use on that will certainly help us. So, off to Big Isle. A fairly standard looking aisle at this point. I say standard, but we are getting some slightly awkward ones. I'll make sure I have a good idea. Not a lot of money on show. Just some basic sword lads. Okay, I don't know why we're just getting some basics coming at this point. But apparently we are. We'll just go and send some of our simple chaps to go and deal with them. And by simple, I just mean not my two bigger, sort of heftier units. Um, you've got your bombs. I wouldn't mind, you know, us... It looks like he's going to land there, so we'll get ourselves a pike charge. Actually, as they land, that will work for us. You can just fight them off without any real issues. Uh, are we going to land slightly awkwardly? We might do, you know. It's fine. We should be able to fight them off without any problems. There are any the, the one-headed swords, but they're not going to be too much of an issue. Archers coming in over there. Quite a few of them, in fact. Actually, depends on exactly where they land, but you could get a good warhammer off here. You're actually in the right position for it. You're going to get yourself a bit cornered if you're not careful, though. They will want to go for the houses. So we'll just pull people around. Just have a quick pause. Search around. Looks like they're the only people coming in right this moment. So, I want you to just to get right in there and... Uh, ground pound isn't activating yet. There we go. They're gone. And you just need to get pressed upon. A few archers will just get piked as they land. That's fine. Yeah, if it's just two or three, we'll just charge straight at them. But otherwise, we need to just take a tiny bit of care. You, sir, have both, oh, you've taken a tiny knock, but... You know what? Now's possibly a good time to go and replenish, actually. So just go over there, as it turns out big pile of troops but just basics at the moment you can cover this position you can just go there in case you need to looks like they are going to land there and Bran obviously can take the landing hit ah more in that direction too these guys over there yeah they are thought they'd pop out just about in time they are completely gone straight away that's what you want to see and I don't think they're going to make it very far either. So far, a lot of people that are quite easy to deal with. Um, I do see a hefty pile of troops coming in now. This is where, actually, if I can get your warhammer in, that would be perfect. You just file back. Uh, and... Oh, ground pound. You need to move one forward. Go for it! <laughs> There we go, and we didn't quite get them all, they all hadn't landed yet, but it was near enough. 
and we've dealt with them. We have too many problems. I think we should be able to win this campaign, if I'm honest. I'm intrigued to see if this is doable on medium difficulty at this point. But, um, you know, we do need to do a hard campaign again and complete it this time. Because, yes, yeah, spoil. Oh, for Pete's mahogany table. Just kill him. <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll just get you back there. There are a few archers. So. There we go. What's nice about that charge is it gets them back into formation. And I think uh, something I got a comment from a Woodle dude who I did say about his campaign on an early episode. He commented that actually sometimes it can be a good way of just moving your men across the battlefield and keeping them in formation as you go. Which isn't a bad shout. Um, it's certainly better to be able to use them in a fully offensive fashion. But um, it's a decent point. Um, might consider it at some point. But we will see about that. So you pull into that position, give them the charge, and the rest of you just need to get across. Uh, just, yeah, blow the horn, just to be safe, because we're just going to bring in the ground pound. Need enough of them to actually be in their position. Don't like it, just get on top of them. Oh, I was on the wrong, was I on the wrong one? Maybe I was. Just pike charge at this point, give up on that. All right, back in the house. There are actually quite a lot coming in from various positions at this stage, and I've let my eye off the ball at the moment. Okay, where do I need these people? They just need to block this house and keep it safe. So the path is through here, through here, and all the way around. So actually, these ones here are going to take ages. They've got to come around to this position. Perfect. Okay, you get over here. Poke him. And honestly, I need you to come and help us out because there could be annoyances here. Throw a bomb. Ow. Okay, you need to replenish. Oh, you're not safe at getting there, are you? Right, get on top of them. You just need to run into the corner. They are fine. You still need to charge over there. And then we can try and get on top of these archers. I think we've got them now. All over them. Of course, um, main units does have himself a sword, so we've always got that one person who can chop a wave until we get ourselves into formation. Not very much money on offer at this point, but it's good training for the final aisle, of course. Five extra monies will help us, but it's not actually going to do too much because we're currently on zero. Okay, off to Norby. And there's an island, there's an item on offer which. Yeah, it's probably a bit late at this point because we have obviously got all of our items assigned, but we do obviously have the option of bringing others back. And Dridwin wasn't badly trained compared to the others, so you never know. We'll have to see what happens. But uh, no, I think I think we're likely to stick with what we've got. So off to Norby at this point. We are, as you can see, a fair bit ahead of the line. Norby's going to be a tricky one though. Flat island. Quite a lot of houses to guard, and you can see lots of different units, albeit no brutes, no brute archers. Simple enough to start with some basic lads coming in, but we need to be really careful here because these are super quick. And just as they pull up, we're going to get this pike charge off. So let's get the moment perfect. Luckily, these two are coming in at the same time. Ooh, there we go. Splat, splat, splat. That's how you do it, ladies and gents. Now with um, yep, some more of the same coming in, we'll line up these guys for a bit of a charge. You can just stand your ground. Actually, we'll get Bran to stand in that position because, of course, Bran can just take the boat. Uh, we'll just take the round with the boat as he lands. Get to that place, and likewise, they're going to land at the same time again. I can actually bomb them. I'm not going to. I'm just going to use the pirate charge once again. Wait for that perfect moment. And we're going to pull up. Perfect. I think it's going to be so much simpler to do the hard mode this time around when we get back to that. Because uh, we, we have quite a few starting traits. A much better idea what all the um, units are. Or what all the strengths are. Especially the different ability uses. And yeah, it does take a little while. It's one of these games that's quite simple. But has a surprising level of complexity to it. If, uh, if, you, if you let it show its depth to you. Um, of course, they don't seem to be coming around this way at all. And actually, this is a good Warhammer time. We're a little bit late for it, but we're getting ourselves in there. Go! 
There we go. Curse Splat. Although it's probably time for you just to reheal. Just grab that house there. Someone's asking me why I don't just use the nearest house. I don't know. I think it's um, a thing of sending them to a safe place. So it's mainly that when they come out of the house, there's always the opportunity that they end up straight in trouble. So I just like to leave them in an area where hopefully they're not going to walk straight into a problem the moment they uh, pop out of the house. Because that is always a slight concern. Um, you never really know where they are, yeah, what situation they're going to appear in. Um, there we go. Oh, we've got pushed back a ton of it there. Uh, just run, just run. I slightly misviewed where they were going to land there. It's fine, we'll just get all of our people back together. It's taken ages to get themselves back information there, which is a bit irritating. Um, okay, it looks like they actually are going to pull up in that position. Slight problem here that I haven't got in the way of these guys. Ah, Warhammer, just in time, I suspect. Oh, um, that's not good. That is not good. Right, hammer. There we go. And they've done their job. Okay, they um, they could have had some big problems there, but they just about got away with it. Lucky they had the Warhammer. Huge pile of archers. We're going to have to get a pike charge on their land in here. So I think these two are both good for a charge. They are indeed. Uh, we'll pull back because we obviously want them to be shooting. Doesn't look like anything else is coming. So we hopefully can get this charge in. But I'm not quite sure where they are. Which side they'll be on. So I'm just going to go there. I think that will largely do it to be honest. Yeah. Largely got them. And then we'll just get on top of them. They're gone. Uh, really shouldn't get that focus in for too long because it does create problems. Ooh, these these are the swords and shields. They're not too problematic, but there are some arches in support. I'm gonna stand that position. We'll just, you know, to be honest, I'm gonna get Brian over here. You can swarm them. There's enough of you to go and swarm six archers, I think. Although, no, Brian has Brian has the Brian has the charge, so. We'll do that and the Warhorn, of course, if he needs to get anyone back into the unit. Oh, that would have been good, but it's a bit late for that now. And I think we'll just charge now. Tied a bit early, but at least we're in, in our position on top of them as they arrive. By the Warhorn, get some more troops in. Hopefully they'll run themselves straight into their own doom. And we'll be able to swarm on top of those arches. That should be about it for now. Marvellous, another island gone. A few precarious moments there. We did almost lose, was it Highness? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, a few close moments, but nothing too problematic. And we have got the mines. Those are the mines I've been looking for for ages. Sadly, looks like we're going to have to do this campaign without them. A bit late, if I am honest. Oh, well, not the end of the world. We do have 14 monies, though. And yes, I was going to say, Brand's upgrade does call for 14 monies. So in terms of the money that's left on offer, um, a decent amount. It's not going to be enough to upgrade all of these charges because we in theory need 48 monies to get the bombs and these charges upgraded. But we shouldn't need all of that. So I could add this up, but... Essentially, it's not going to be enough. We'll see as we go along. I'm not sure the charge having extra distance is the most... Um, it's not really the biggest priority. Winter Hell should be quite a quiet one, actually. But we will just send everyone into every island at this point. There's no point of wasting our men or putting them in unnecessary danger. Interesting set of yeah cliffs and just general little holes in the in the in, and canyons here. Um, intriguing. Doesn't look. Oh, actually, that is a hill. That's a very sneaky one there because it does look like you can get up that. Hmm. Well, let's deploy it. Let's see what they got. Bombs ahoy! Ah, a bit early, but it did a nice job. It's a yeah, it's a good position up here. We can throw the bomb an awfully long way, which is basically what I was experimenting with there. We will take out whoever else turns up pretty soon. They're in a bit of an odd position. Oh. Oh, okay, they're going straight up to this house. I'm very confused about the layout here. Uh, are we going to lose this house just because I'm a fool? We might do, you know. 
Okay, well, we'll get on top of them and hopefully clear them out. Yeah, see, sometimes the layer of the island can be very confusing. Lucky this is Brand who can hold that position. Um, if you get yourselves... See, these aren't... This island is very, very confusing. Uh, <laughs> get yourself there. I don't know what's happening anymore. Some of them have got through. Right. The actual layer of this island is incredibly perplexing to me. But if we swing you round here, I think we'll be able to get the flank in and we'll be fine. He's just panicking massively here. It's on like full route. Right, let's just slow this down. Because I'm getting really caught out with the layout here because that's actually a pool. You can't get through there. You have to kind of wander around. So they're starting to trick me. Um, what do you want? We just want a Warhammer at this point, do we? Maybe. It's probably a little bit early in terms of its timing for Warhammer. Leave you here for the charge. In general, we're in a fairly good position. Um, yeah, we could just bomb, but these guys are probably start running off very quickly. We'll throw a bomb in momentarily, see how it goes. They're going to run in not too quickly. Yeah, we, we largely got them because they were mostly waiting for us to all turn up. We'll just let them run into the pikes. That'll be, it'll be no problem. I don't know why I didn't get you to replenish earlier. Because you did take a bit of damage when my head, I had an absolute brain freeze before. Now in terms of this position over here, we'll get someone up on the hill. We'll get someone up on this hill. And what's the other way they can go? Um, through that cliff and then up here. So go over here. God knows. God knows anymore. They're going to go whichever way they fancy, which could be anything. I'm not too worried though. We have short-footed old Bran on the hill. Still our old king. Fighting, fighting sturdily for us. Now this is a beautiful Warhammer moment. If ever there was one. Uh, but if I get it wrong, I'm in big trouble. So we should probably get some assistance in on the flanks. Um, right, let's try and get this as perfect as possible. How many boats are going to be landing? I've just got to hold back a tiny, tiny bit. This could be magnificent. Right, I'll be ready to go. They're pulling up. They're charging at me. They're pulling up. Time to go. Oof. Pretty much all of them in one go there. Nice job. Nice job indeed. Luckily they weren't too strong or they weren't axe throwers or anything like that. Haven't seen many brute arches. I suppose that is being on easy mode here. Probably why me to head on to medium um, going forward. I think when I've been doing infantry myself, um, infantry only for my own, uh, just for my own entertainment really, um, I have been on medium for that. So that one seemed all right even on medium. But we'll see. Uh, we will get to that in good time. Now, I'm just going to get you around here because you're going to get yourself in trouble. Bran is on the hill. So Bran can pretty much deal with everything by himself. But they're just lining up to be killed at this stage. Yeah, they gave us time to get in position. Good old Erwin. Good old second in command as far as I'm concerned. Warham is back, which is always good news. And the great bloody hill has been cleared off. Perfect. And as ever, we'll we'll declare ourselves saviors. We'll leave. They'll get taken over by Vikings. You're welcome, Cairo. And on to the last few aisles then. Not too many to go. We've got old Humbug here. We can see some brute archers are going to be in play on Bardsey. So there's an item there as well. I'm not sure if it's anything particularly useful. We'll head into Humbug first. We have time to get through them all. I did calculate that earlier, didn't I? So, yeah, onto humbug. Oh, we're getting hit in the rear here. Okay, good. The pike charge can really recover from getting surrounded. They're going up this hill, which I don't believe goes anywhere. Oh, it actually just sneak down here. Interesting. I keep on getting caught out today. Uh, bodes well for the final battle, doesn't it? Now, El Bomo, uh, please get into this position. Now, they won't be too much of a problem in fairness. We can possibly just pull back there. I think that will do nicely. We, oh yeah, the bomb's going to hurt ourselves. So we'll best just stand here, I think. Just let the charge happen. Just just pull out. Obviously, this side of the island's completely empty. This doesn't matter apart from the odd slide down the hill there. So I'm, oh, I missed this guy. Stop burning down my house. 
Thank you. Now, what do we want? What do we want here? If we get you, sir, to just stand in that position, Bran can get a charge off into their... Yeah. At, mm. Let's just warhammer them. This just this looks like a proper warhammer situation. And jump the hammer. Oh yes, that was good. And over here, they're going to do the same. Run around the side, run down the hill to their splatty splatty doom. And yeah, there's a very huge amount to us here, but nothing actually especially scary. So we'll be fine, I think. This is probably a good example where charging will be lovely because it will clear these guys out. But it'll also leave us in a perfect formation to deal with the guys who land as well. I was hoping to get them before the safe perfect formation. We took it slightly knocked back there, but not too badly. Oh wow, there's a lot of boats coming in at once here. So you circle into there. There are no archers coming at all. It's just normal lads. I do need to be a tiny bit careful though. Um So what have we got? What have we got? I think we can warhammer over here. You need to bow the horn. That is indeed the point of you, sir. And if we can... Yeah, Warhammer wants to be right there. Warhammer in that position will be perfect. Which means we shouldn't need... Shouldn't need Bran over here either. Bran can come over into this area. Just kind of hold. So... They're all arriving at almost the same moment, which is a little bit disconcerting. He's going to start burning down that house. We're just going to ignore it for a moment. Throw your bomb into there, sir. The splats. I was supposed to warhammer, but I didn't. All is fine. They ran into the pikes anyway. And with that, we should be able to win. All right, no real issues there. We've seen like we've got a good tactic going with these guys. Between a huge, huge uh, popular chap over here with a ring of command... Um, just the sturdiness of Bran himself. Yeah, just, just the mix is working out well here. I'm liking it. But we are going to have to face a few brutes and brute archers. Not worried about the brutes. But brute archers are going to muck up our formation. It might be where we start to see us use pike charge just to get us moving around safely. Um, let's have a quick look at this island before we go in. Bardsey. Not an awful lot. Bit of open ground. A few little confusing cliff faces. No problem. On to 11, which means we certainly should be getting this upgrade sorted. Um, now, oh yes, of course, Patton's quicker replenish is always quite nice, isn't it? Especially with the Warhammer, because sometimes you get right up to the front. Bran, Bran, Bran. I'm going to get you onto that, because you being in position is key, and you're hard to knock back. So if you can maintain your place, that's ideal. That is now Bran up to full in everything which um you really really want to be honest i am probably a tiny bit short on that on that front not too many islands i've missed i missed four five and then there's two at the start weren't there yeah six seven eight so most of the islands most of the islands over to bardsey then um this one's slightly concerned i won't go and do it right away but I'll take a peek okay actually that one is i mean ignoring the fact that i'd like to get all the money actually not too bad they've got to come up here or go through the tunnel to come up this hill so not terrible not terrible at all right well we'll go into Barty first see what item they've got it might be that we get ourselves a third lovely lovely jog of life but um, I don't think that's too likely I think we only got the second one because I obviously chose it as a starting item I can see the horrendous brutes in the distance <laughs> as we uh, get ready for this little charge here. Take these guys out with good time in hand because we really don't want to be facing these while still battling others. That's really the main thing we've got with those. It's do we face them at the same time as other units? Hopefully not. So we'll just get everyone behind that cliff um, because otherwise they're going to start splatting us quite badly. Now. Not a lot they can do, actually. They just arrive by themselves. Especially on a map like this, we can hide out pretty well. Um, what's the best thing to do? Maybe just run in at them with a warhammer. It's possibly a good idea. We'll take some hefty damage as he goes, though. Get into that position behind the house. And, yeah, that's good. And ground pound. There we go. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that was... 
really bad damage. You can see there, e e even with a fairly well timed ground pound, slightly late, but honestly not that bad. Um, yeah, still significant damage being taken to us there. So we will get Elwyn to charge in with his good old pike charge. You can see that the advantage of the full range um, because, yeah, clearly, clearly I'd like to be that tiny bit further back just for safety, but it's not the end of the world, eh? Charge him. Straight through. One guy somehow slipped through the pipes. Don't know. Don't know how he did that. And yeah, we saw the advantage how quick that training was as well. Um, and as we said, the uh, the Warhammer is going to make sure he's in tough situations sometimes. So that's what you want to see. Nice, well guarded. And I think I'll bring you over here. Just so that you've got protection in that kind of area. Bran. Uh, you're fine, you're fine. These two can just hold position here. You've got a Warhammer. Actually, you might as well use that. Because I'd rather... We just clear these out without too many problems. So get your hammer out. Anchor Blamo. That is not a problem. They got a few, yeah, three thrown axes, but I don't think that actually caused too many issues in the end. As you get spattered, that is one more island down. Yeah, Brute Archers. You can see there we were able to deal with them kind of okay because they came by themselves, but uh, yeah, something to bear in mind. And we are the jug of being able to go to more than one island a turn. Absolutely useless for us on Island 45 or wherever we are at this point. Yeah, about 44, 43. That's what that is. So, yeah, we'll move on to the next turn. Last few islands, then, three more today until we move on to our last stand. And as we already looked at Auro, we could potentially have a few issues. I think it's eight for the upgrade for the, for the bombs, isn't it? Indeed, it is. It's eight for that upgrade. So, we'll just head straight in here. Hopefully not face uh, too many brute archers because they worry me brutes coming in straight away or brute archers i should say with their basically ballista bows of doom so what we probably want to be doing is getting not even the warhammer on this occasion um bomb wouldn't be bad but i think just a pike charge possibly possibly henwas is the one we want here so we'll just hold off for a few moments throw yourself there and you can bomb down there might have just got that got that really badly wrong okay in that position oh no that's our own men that was the worst decision i think i've done <laughs> on this entire series <laughs> okay i wasn't expecting them coming out of there i was expecting them coming down here i really didn't think that through. <laughs> that was not clever okay Things could be going better at this point. They could be going better. But we're going to take these out now. Mostly. Um, <laughs> just kill them. Just kill them, please. Anyone, just do the job. Uh, Warhammer, come here and do another job. Okay. <laughs> we just about survived that. That was uh, absolutely fine. Nothing went wrong. Yeah, nothing to see here and yeah obviously these boats are about to come in with the warhammer taking their sweet damn time and he'll do his job so you need to go and re-heal and i probably should have dealt with that earlier but i didn't think they'd be that long until they actually bother to land yeah gosh it was annoying not having the warhammer for so long it makes life an awful lot easier but i suppose i learned how to use the pikes in themselves okay I'm sorry for bombing you, Henwas. Uh, I blame Elwyn up here. Yeah, I told you, I don't like the bombs. I find them really awkward to use. And actually, that was going to do a good work on them. But unfortunately, I blew up all of my own men. So anyway, it's all fine. We'll get two lads here to stand their ground. Doesn't look like too many others are coming. Oh, no. There are more coming in, and they are not the guys you want to see. Indeed, they're not. Um, El Pinko, please come and retreat. Okay, we are struggling just to get any formation at this point, which is quite irritating. Brand, just pull over here. I'm now getting distracted once more. Could really do with someone, anyone else down here. So you come down here. Uh, the problem is we don't actually have ourselves information. 
So, you, get your... Anyone, get into position! Ah! Right, go there. Bran, pull out of there. And, right, you've got a pike charge too. Get on top of them, please. God, this is absolute carnage. Right, you into that position. <laughs> what have we got left? But you three, you need to just get in there. You all need to get down there. You get back into the house. You blow the horn of destiny, please. Um, okay, this is not good. What is actually around at this point? This guy is coming up the hill. That's fine by me. So he's going to get himself splattered over here. Get yourself splattered, please. Pike charge. Do the job. You can see we're not actually killing them with that anymore. Just knocking them over. Now you, Sir Bran, you've got the war horn, but honestly you just need to replenish at this point. We can actually use the war horn a minute ago because both houses were full. Everyone was burning down. Um, yeah, I think you need to learn how to deal with these brute archers quickly. Because the problem is I can't just set someone on them. They just sort of wander back and get away from us. You maybe just stay up there. If they're just basic lads, we should be fine to stand and hold position. They're just going to attack us like that. That's fine. We can now turn around and deal with these guys. Okay, we're just... We're still here. We're still fine. I think the last few coming in as we just get those guys dealt with. This is going to be a warhammer moment, I think. Yeah, we've got another charge in the bag. Uh, you're not warhammer. Oh, you're the ball... Alright, it's not going to be a Warhammer time because I put the wrong person in position. It's all good though, we've got them dealt with. Okay, that was easy. No problem at all. <sighs> Alright, lesson one. Don't bomb your entire uh, unit. Lesson two. Um, Brute Archers are scary. And lesson three, I don't know, just run away. Now... Bran obviously can get the next pike as well, increased power. I'd rather Bran just get himself up as strong as possible at this point. So if we can have one on supercharge, that would be grand. So we'll go to next turn. They'll eat up all of these islands. Bardsey goes next. So down to Scarba for now because that's, uh, yeah, going to be on that round afterwards. Oof. I was going to say this open island isn't actually too bad for pikes, but when there are crossbows coming in from both sides, there is literally nowhere to hide in this island. Um, you, sir. Ooh. You can try and dodge these, but you really can't. It's just unfortunate they're on both sides right now. I can't do anything about them. Just need them to land so I can kill them. Please just get in the house. I just need to actually get a charge off on them. You do that. You can very e Ow! Ah, there's too many of them and I can't actually manage it all at once. Right, they have been dealt with, but you need to desperately get inside the house. You need to just push them into the sea. Bloody Laura. This is scary. Scary! Okay, behind that house actually was working. So I don't know why I then just walked us out of the house. Uh, um. Pike charge! Pike charge! Good. Nice bit of work there. You get yourself into that position. Get your hammer down. Aishkaba! Uh, is there anyone else? There's still one left. This is too worrying for uh, my good right now. It's just so open. Yeah, unfortunately, it's incredibly difficult to um, just poke them with your one trip. <laughs> your one militia man. Oh, I always find the final line in okay. It's these, there's always a few before that just sneak up on you. So at this point, yeah, we'll just get you two to land together. 
and we'll poke you to death. As long as there aren't too many crossbowmen coming from all different directions at the same time, we'll be fine. It's just managing it is incredibly logistically difficult. You, over there. And you guys over here, they'll not be too much of a problem. What have we got? A few over there, a few over there. Nothing else seems to be coming in. Pin them in. Yeah, well, we were always going to have to take a little bit of a hit on that, unfortunately. Oof, that was more than I would have liked, but at least someone's taken the hit. You head... No, you head into the house. And otherwise, we're just going to buy our time here. Charge in on them there. Charge in on them here. Lots of splatting going on and not enough. Um, not enough of knocking out these guys early on here. Okay, let's just regroup for a moment. There's quite a lot coming in, but they're all coming in in one corner, which means I can go and plug it up. So if Mr. Bomb goes over there, first if you come into this position, we've got the double hand swordsman. It's a bit of an awkward one because we can't warhammer very easily over here. Yeah, there's no one to throw the bomb either, so we've just got to kind of do our best with it. So they're going to jump in at us. Hopefully sheer numbers is enough there. Yeah, it seems like it is going to do the job. Thankfully, another island of precarious uh, yes, precarious situations, but it seems to have just about made it through. And a bit of money in the bank to set us up for the end game here. Another eight. Pulls us a little bit closer to what we need. On to the last aisle of the day then, the Crow's Nest. You can see we've got Brutes and Brute Archers, of course, so it could be an interesting one. We've got eight monies left. We're going to get a few more here. It looks like six or so. Um, yeah, it looks like we'll just have to pick one upgrade after this. So we'll see what that is. I'm not too worried about the rest of the upgrades. We've got to, um, we've got to, um, that's to where they need to be. But it wouldn't be bad to have a second person with full charge. So, what is this sign like? Because we got caught out on these last two. Don't want anything stupid to happen right before the end. I can't afford to lose three of them. <laughs> I afford to lose two. I bring them back from the dead. But no, not three of them. So, what have we got? Quite a lot of... In fairness though, I don't really need to keep both houses. So, if I need to sacrifice a house, I can. And then just defend the high ground. But, yeah. Uh, Archer Brutes are going to cause us some problems. Let's deploy. First few troops are just some basic enough lands. A few Brutes, a few Swordsmen. Nothing too much to worry about. Some more Brutes coming in. Again, I don't really care about them in themselves. It's just when they turn up with the Archer at the same time where I have issues. And there are, to be fair on this one, in quite a few places I can plug up. So yeah, I plugged up anyone under this end with these two units here. Likewise with this kind of area as well. So yeah, we're not doing bad in terms of having to defend our beach. Uh, but yes, obviously we are going to start getting these chaps shooting in at us. And of course there's one over there as well. Of course there would be. So I've got, no, I don't want you up on the hill. I want you down low. See, this is the problem. There is nowhere to hide. Especially when they come in at different positions like this. I generally don't have anywhere I can go. Just got to... Just gotta, you know what? If you take the hit, Bran, that's actually best. Um, it's it's actually better than most of them. But if you can, oh, can you get in with a warhammer? Probably not very efficiently. But I wouldn't mind. Let's just get rid of one. Let's get rid of one, and then we'll just get on top of these. Um, hold back on that for a moment. You sir, get in there. Yeah, we just need to just ah, we've really taken bad damage there. Okay, we crushed them. We crushed them. <laughs> right, Bren, you get in here. Blow your warhorn. We need you to replenish. We've got through the first of the brute archers, which is a relief. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Um, okay, they, they'll be dealt with without too many problems. Let's just go and plug up this area over here. You just stand literally where they land. That will suit me. Ah, here we are. We've got our extra unit. Let's just get on top of them. Try and keep an eye on all sides. 
Ah, they're struggling to hold position, Elwyn. Come on, Elwyn. Get with the game. Now, is it a good idea to get him... You know what, I'm just going to stand up here. He'll be a good position to throw a bomb in. As long as he doesn't get shot by a ballista from a mile away. Normally the first you know of them appearing is someone getting absolutely splatted. I'm not sure it's worth warhammering, but I might well do just to clear them out, to be honest with you. So I think I will do that, actually. Just warhammer, couple ammo into that position, and now at least we know what we're doing with these. More groups coming in. Don't worry about those. Not worried about the... Yeah, not worried about the bombs being used at this stage either. As for these brutes, we just need to pin them in. So pin those in there, and I wouldn't mind you getting a replenish whilst you have an opportunity. So you go and do that now. These guys should be able to deal with them before too long. And we'll just plug up this position with him. Lovely, this is good, this is good, this is good. There is a crossbowman coming in over here. Oh no, there's another one over here as well. Panic! Panic! Okay, you've done your job. Now get behind the rock. He managed to hide that one out. That's good. Who else is in Ray? Why'd you get out of the house? You're basically where you were before. Just stay in the house, man. Um, right, well, they're going to be killed. Just pike charge there. At least get rid of them. You, sir, get on top of him. And you, sir, get over there. Pike charge them out of the way. Pike charge out of the way. Let's clear them out nice and simply this time. It's much better. We're still getting shot at. Get in the house. There's some more in that direction. So you can pull into that hiding spot. You hide into that hiding spot. And you get into... The, ooh, that's not much of a hiding spot. And West really could do with re, re at this point. Um, yep. Yeah. Way too much of a corner. You need to get up there and recharge now. Hopefully you don't get shot. That could be the end. No, it's not. Right, we've got a Warhammer here. We need to use this Warhammer. Ow. Um, get over there. And you get there. <laughs> right on top of where he lands. That's exactly the problem. Ah, oh, there's too many at once here. Charge. Warhammer. And... Oh, I don't have a charge. Boom! Oh! <laughs> Almost killed there, and I didn't get my timing quite right with, um... Yeah, didn't quite get my timing right with the call of the horn. <laughs> okay, almost lost brand. Almost, 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 almost. Right, well, this has been interesting. Turns out brute archers are terrifying with your archers. They're even more terrifying when you're pikemen. Yeah, the problem is you can't just leave someone for a moment to finish them off. They just kind of stand there. Um, take them off defend and guard mode and come and have some initiative. Anyway, we have made it to Stolberg. We've got ourselves four lads ready to take on the final aisle. And we have 14 monies left to upgrade. So who is going to be best for it? Well, we want to get the the charge. Now I would suggest for me I think Hemwest is going to be the best ideal option for this because with the extra men if Hemwest can appear across the battlefield in formation nice and quickly that's going to be a boon for us. So I'm going to give it to Hemwest and that means we've got Bran and Hemwest fully well nearly fully in Hemwest's position but yeah as well trained as they can be. Elwyn the bombs I really don't really like. Um, so uh, it did help us there, but they're not particularly helpful for me. The Warhammer is, as ever, being grand to see. Right, we are there. Been a, been a difficult one, these last few islands. Um, maybe forget what I said about medium. Uh, easy is hard enough when you're doing Pike only. Anyway, off to Stolberg and next time where we'll see our finale. That will come out tomorrow on the day of release for this episode. So it should be out on... That should be the Sunday. On the Sunday, ladies and gents. Um, it's been a tough one, but we are almost, almost ready. So, for now, we'll leave you. This is Tenosa Human, and this has been our Pike Only campaign. Thank you, and goodbye. They are just throwing themselves to their deaths! Woohoo! 
chunky, chunky, chunky death. Oh, that wasn't a very good charge. Oh, <laughs> we're flying. There is no one near beside him. Yeah, axe in the head. Axe in the head. Yeah, beautiful. 